Welcome back squad. Today's hot topic is Ethereum Classic and I'm going to tell you why it may pump to $100 by the end of the year. I'll also be providing you with five reasons to support my claim. Now without further ado, let's jump into the Word document. Alright, so as you can see here, um, they will be listed on Coinbase. That has been confirmed and I have the source information here I'll also have this full word document available on my Google Drive which will be uh, located in the description of the video so if you want to download this document and take a look at it you definitely can so here's the actual coinbase announcement from their blog which states that they will be adding ethereum classic now let's just go over this section here Per this process, we will now begin the engineering work, step four, for supporting Ethereum Classic. As part of this process, customers can expect to see public facing APIs and other signs that the asset is being added. When we reach the final testing phase of the technical integration, which we expect to occur over the next few months, we will publicly announce a launch date for trading via our blog and Twitter. Okay, so that's 100% confirmed, it's happening, and you probably uh, already knew about this integration. Now, let's go over the next four supporting factors. So the next one is Ethereum has been confirmed not to be a security and therefore Ethereum Classic is not as well. So now we can move over to the Yahoo Finance uh, link which uh, states that the securities basically announced that it's not a security. So here we go. Let's move back over. Boom. Here, and here's the whole blog post so so in an announcement at Yahoo Finance's all market summit crypto in San Francisco on Thursday the US Securities and Exchange Commission director of corporate finance William Hinman said that the Commission would not be classifying ether or Bitcoin as securities now uh, if you read this post uh, a little bit further um, basically they're looking at cryptocurrencies that don't have um, centralized networks. So if a cryptocurrency has a centralized network, they determine it as a security. Um, if, it if it has a decentralized network like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, um, then they don't classify as securities. That's what it states further down. So now we'll move on to our third piece of supporting evidence here. Because Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano, ADA, and the IOHK team are supporting it and developing it with the ETC dev teams. So here, when we click this link, we can move on over to the YouTube video, which shows, <laughs> which shows um, basically him going over all of these factors on why he's supporting Ethereum Classic and why he's doing Cardano at the same time. So I highly suggest that you check out this video. Um, again, I'll have this in the, the description of the video so that you guys can check it out because he, he really goes over it um, in, in a very thorough fashion. So again, I highly suggest that you watch uh, this video, there's about a section that I'll, I'll have uh, quick links that you can click in the description of the video where it's only about two minutes long. So you don't have to watch the whole hour video, but just watch the, the two minutes where he explains why he's supporting Ethereum Classic and, and how his team um, is doing in regards of their development. Okay, so the next piece of supporting evidence I have here is because the first trial run of sidechain and cloud computing capability will be based upon Ethereum Classic sidechain proposal. Okay, so let's just move back over here. So here's the Ethereum Classic announcement of that on their Twitter. So the first trial run of the sidechain and cloud experiment will be based on, upon the Ethereum Classic sidechain proposal. OpenStack and ETC dev team collaborate on ETC sidechain project, right? And then they actually give you the, uh, the full link to their actual proposal. So cloud ledger proposal, right? Here's the problem description, the use cases, the proposed change, technical background, and it goes over all of that fancy stuff. Now, 
if we just go over. The reason for choosing Ethereum Classic as the first trial run main chain are as follows. Um, ETC is preserving the proof of work mechanism unlike ETH, Ethereum, which is transitioning to a proof of stake based blockchain. Proof of work is the only currently battle proved secure consensus mechanism for public chains, thus is ideal for a main chain. Ethereum Classic still preserves many of the original Ethereum important features such as smart contracts. Although many sidechain advocates consider smart contract a direct threat, a Turing complete language is still vital for things uh, like policy driven deployment and automation which are prevalent in cloud computing. The dev community is very friendly, ETC is less hyped than many new ICO crazed solutions as well as the most two established ones Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay, and now we are moving down to our last supporting factor. Here we go. Now, that is because the network hash rate has increased from 8 terahashes to 12.2. So, if you do the math on that, that's a, that's a little over a 50% increase on total network hash rate. Okay, so even though mining Ethereum Classic isn't the most profitable thing right now, um, it will be the most profitable in the long run because Ethereum Classic is going to pump in price, right? And a lot of people have started mining it uh, because of that. Like like I said, a 50% increase. Like, <laughs> that's 4.2 trillion hashes um, a second that they've added to the network, which is massive. Um, so this means that a large number of miners are presuming that ETC will be more profitable in the long run than other options right now. Yeah, so so you can see it in the Word doc here. But we'll move on down to the uh, network hash rate chart. And you can see here, I'll just move over to a bigger portion of that. So now the original Coinbase announcement was June 11th, right? And we can verify that because we have it up right now. Um, where's the actual uh, date on this post? It should state. Yeah, June eleventh here, four minute read, right? So you can see it right here. That's those are the facts. Now we go into the hash rate chart and look at this. Their hash rate is super low. It's uh, you know eight point two, eight point three, right? And steadily dropping seven point four, seven point five, and now come June eleventh. Right, it's 7.4. The hash rate jumps to 9.4 because of the Coinbase uh, announcement. Now, not a lot of people caught on to this, right? Because you know ETC is kind of like the underdog. You know, just you, you kind of focus on everything else, right? So now these guys were aware of it, and they they dove in on that. So now the hash rate's 8.45. And as soon as people got more aware, June 21st, that hash rate just jumps to 10.6 and it increases all the way to 12.3, right? And we're sitting at about 12 right now. So as you can see, people are starting to mine this even though, like I said, it's not the most profitable right now. Um, so I did also want to let you guys know of some awesome uh, facts here that the tickets to the Ethereum Classic Summit, which is basically the big developer conference that they're having um, in South Korea are now free. And I have the uh, Twitter announcement source here that you can click, um, which I highly suggest you check out if you want more information on Ethereum Classic and you would love to go on a trip. Um, this year I will be going, I'll be flying out to South Korea and I'm going to go to this conference because I want to see what it's all about and I've been a long-term fan of Ethereum Classic. Now, um, if you guys want to see what I'm up to, I highly suggest that you check out my uh, Discord server because um, I'm constantly posting this type of information in there and I've had the Ethereum Classic facts and, and all of this in my Discord channel 
for maybe about a week, a week and a half now, and I'm just creating the video now, right? Um, and and uploading it, so you guys would get those facts a lot earlier. Um, if you join the discord server, so I highly suggest that you check it out But anyways, um, please subscribe if this content helped you out if you found this informational and it was pretty solid um, I appreciate it more than you know, so thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always stay regular